Welcome to this video guys. Um, this is going to be really fun. In today's video I'm making a whole outfit in one day. And also, it's already almost 5 o'clock. <laughs> so, but my goal is to make this outfit before tomorrow. Not for any particular reason, I just want to. So, yeah. I'm cheating a little because one thing is just a thrift flip. I'm still, I'm still changing it though. So, let me show you my inspiration. So, a week and a half ago maybe, I think, I posted this video about my winter sewing plans. And one of those sewing plans was making some shiny pants. Let me show you my inspiration. So, the goal for today is to make some shiny pants. Let me show you the fabric I have. I was very kindly gifted this very shiny purple material. I mean, it's not the shiniest, but it's nice. And as soon as I was gifted this, I knew exactly what I needed to make from it because I've been wanting to make shiny pants for forever, but I couldn't find any material in the thrift store, so this is perfect. This is what we're going to use for that. The pattern I'm going to use for the shiny pants is my cargo pants pattern, um, the Rhoda pants pattern, which you can find on my Etsy if you're interested in also making some pants. Now, I'm not making cargo pants. The pattern has three options. You can do cargo pants, you can do more like jeans, and then you can do another version of cargo pants. But we're going to do the jeans trousers version just because I think it will look best. Um, so we're going to do that. The next, so that covers the pants, you know. Um, also, we're not doing a dress. That would be cheating. I don't feel like that counts as a full outfit. So, we're doing pants and a shirt. Let me show you my idea for the shirt. Here's my inspiration. I pinned this Dior shirt on Pinterest a while ago. And I've been wanting to do it, but I just... I don't know. I've been waiting for some reason. So, today we're going to do it. Um, so this is how I'm kind of treating a little. I'm not really making a full shirt. I got this shirt at the thrift store. It's a really nice, thick, white shirt. Um, but I already have a ton of white shirts. And so I want to use this to make a cute little patch Dior shirt. Um, I know that's copyrighted. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I thought about doing Emma instead, like saying Emma in letters like that, but um, I don't really want to be that girl that wears a shirt that says her name, you know? So we're just going to go with Dior. <laughs> so um, let me show you the fabrics I picked out for the lettering. Hopefully you can see this. This is what I want to do. For here, let me get closer. Okay, these are the fabrics that I want to use for the lettering. So we got purple, this like flower material, and then a blue flower, and then a red gingham. So yeah, we're gonna do that for the lettering. Not sure which order yet, but yeah. Anyways, that's the inspiration for this outfit. I'm really excited for it. I can't wait to start wearing these items. So Especially, the shirt will not take very much time. The pants, they might take a while. <laughs> so, I think, I think I would like to start with, let's just cut stuff for now. I'm not going to show you guys that part because it's boring. I'm just going to quickly cut out the pants and cut out the letters and... Then I'll see you guys right after. So I've just typed up Dior in Word and then I made it bold. And I'm just going to put this wax paper on top of it and trace it onto the wax paper. 
um, because we're going to use the outside and inside edges as a template for stitching on the um, the letters to the shirt. So I'm just going to take a little bit of tape just so I can secure it to my screen. I know I probably shouldn't do this, but this way it will just be as close as possible. And I've also um, drawn onto the wax paper a layout. So I've done um, eight inches because that's how big I want it to be on my chest. So, oops, let's line it up right. I just want it to be super straight. So, yeah. Um, just gonna go ahead and trace it really quick and then I'll show you what I'm doing for the fabric for this piece. I think this comes around. So now that's all traced out on that. Okay, so I have my four fabrics here. I'm just gonna iron them out really quick. So, oh I forgot this is not plugged in. Anyways, I'm just gonna iron them out really quick and then I'm going to iron them onto some interfacing. Um, this is just to, stabilize it really good um, and make sure it doesn't totally fall apart. <laughs>
So I just finished stitching all the letters on. I just want to iron them really quick to make sure the stitching is really in there really good and just melded in with both of the fabrics really good. So now I'm just going to take my pinking shears and go around the outside of um, the fabrics. I'm doing the pinking shears just because I well, I like the way it looks, but like on the inside, I might have to go in with a smaller pair of scissors uh, just because these ones might not be able to do the job as good. So let's do that really quick. Okay, so I just finished cutting it all out. I got this dry brush. I just want to brush it over it just to um, fray it a little bit and make it look more natural. Uh, once it's been through the wash, I think it will, I don't know, do that all on its own. But um, I just kind of want to speed up the process a little bit. So I love how it looks right now. I am excited to try it on at the end when we have the pants done too. Now that the shirt is done, it's time to finish the pants. So far, it is 9.30. <laughs> But I've gotten a little bit of the pants done, so let's just keep working on it. Okay, I think it's about 10.30, let me check. Mm, not even close. It's almost 11.30. But, the outfit is finished. So, let's try it on really quick. So, what do we think? I love it. I love both of them. I'm so excited to have these pieces in my wardrobe. These shiny pants are everything. <laughs> I love them. I'm so excited to style these this winter. Um, such a fun color. I'm not usually into purple, but I just, I'm obsessed with these. So yeah, I'm excited for these shiny new pants. And this Dior shirt, what a cool way to upcycle a shirt. I think 
I'm obsessed with it and I think I'm definitely going to do this again. Um, but yeah, that's today's video guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, let me know which piece is your favorite, the shiny pants or the Dior shirt. I think my favorite, I can't choose. I'm going to have to wear them a few times to figure out which one is my favorite. But let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like sewing content and crafting content, fashion content, please subscribe to my channel. I would love that. Um, but again, thanks for joining me today, guys. I will see you on Friday.